back everybody i just kind of wanted to do a first shots or a quick b channel overview here of the pistol that we have uh this one is not that popular out there it is the glock 21 rtf2 finish now this one i picked up used not too long ago we got it in stock from uh, ags armament when they had a few of them in there so the majority of rtf2 finishes uh finished pistols i should say that you see out there are going to be glock 22s Glock 23s and then some 17s and 19s. Of course, Larry Vickers is now bringing out his RTF2 that are new production, and those are fantastic. However, uh, a very small number of Glock 21 RTF2s came out. So, essentially, what is RTF2? Well, RTF2 finished guns have all been Gen 3s, and it has sort of a, a more aggressive sort of sandpaper, as some folks will call it, uh, texture to it. We'll zoom in. Of course, you guys can see the close ups as we uh, roll those in. But what it does, is it gives you an exceptional purchase on the pistol. Um, I believe all but one of my home defense pistols has the RTF2 finish simply because I really like it. Uh, if your hands are uh, bloody, sweaty, uh, wet, whatever the case may be, it really does help you get a good grasp on the pistol. The only uh, downside, I guess, as I see it anyway, is uh, it can sort of, uh, if you're carrying it inside the waistband, it can sort of uh, irritate your skin a little bit. It can also uh, scuff up some clothes, and I know a lot of police officers out there were very upset about that with their uniforms being damaged and having to buy new ones. Um, but for a home defense duty type gun, I think it is simply an excellent finish. And of course, the Glock 21, 13 plus one of 45 ACP power, uh, Glock simplicity, reliability, and uh, there's really not a whole lot more you can ask for. Uh, this is the only RTF2 finished gun of all of them that I didn't have in my collection, and uh, we got it. So that's the last one. So I just wanted to make a quick video to let you guys see the pistol. Uh, this one here came with the Glock Factory Night Sights. Um, so you see it and know what it is in case you happen to see one down the road and uh, are debating picking one up. I recommend them highly. Um, just absolutely solid guns. These guns were all made ex with the exception of, of course, the new Vickers guns uh, back sort of in Glock's heyday, if you will. They had real good finishes, no ejection issues that some pistols have nowadays, um, and really were known for the reliability that's where they built it. So uh, just great guns, and I wanted to let you know, if you see one, I recommend picking them up because they're not making any more, at least not as of right now. Larry Vickers, I hope you're listening. We'd like to see another run of these. But um, for now, we'll keep putting a few rounds down range. But that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you the gun, show you how it shoots. Um, very, like I said, Glock simplicity, reliability, durability, all that stuff. And 14 rounds of 45 ACP in your hand. You can't really complain about that. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Hope to see you in the next video.